Under the bluest of skies in Trenton, you have a bunch of brave, committed souls climbing wooden poles. It's what these students do at the Southeast Lineman Training Center, all part of a 15-week program. After graduation, they'll spread out all over the country, working on the electrical lines that we've all come to rely on. This is a huge part of the learning experience, climbing over and over and over again. The first five weeks that they're here, um, many of them liken it to a boot camp in a lot of ways because we spend a lot of time just repetition over and over so that they learn how to climb properly and also so that they don't injure themselves. At first glance, this looks to be a pretty easy job and a fun job as well. Hey, you strap on the spikes, uh, you put on the belt, and you go up and down a wooden pole. But when you talk to those involved, you find out very quickly it might be fun, but it certainly is not easy. It's a very taxing job. Um, this is definitely one of the more dangerous jobs out there. Um, obviously, when the students are out in the field and working, once they're a journeyman lineman, after a few years of an apprenticeship, they'll be um, you know, working with live power lines. You see it secondhand, and uh, you think, yeah, you could do that. And like, it looks easy, but you get your gaffs on, you get your belt on, and it's a, it's a whole new world. But there's more to the story. This is the first ever Woodwalkers for Water event, as the school is teaming up with Neverthirst. That's an organization that supplies clean water to people all over the world, specifically in Africa and Asia. The school will make a donation for every completed climb. It's a win-win for everybody. Not only helping these guys get better at their craft, but also helping people around the world who don't have access to clean water because 785 million people still lack the basic necessity of clean water. The two organizations are hoping to partner together on a regular basis in the future, raising money while perfecting a craft. Dave Staley, News 12 Now.